Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another Battle to the Death for you. Today, we have a comparison between two knives that I really enjoy in my favorite category, the ultra-modern slip joints, as I call them, and these are two of the best. We have the Three Rivers Manufacturing Viator and the Kaiser Zip Slip. Awesome knives, both of them. I've put a lot of miles on both of these. I had to spend some significant time in Europe and I got both of these for that trip. I wanted to have some nice stuff to carry over with me that was legal in the multiple countries that I went to. So I got both of these. I'm happy with both of them. Neither of them are going anywhere. That'll That's the spoiler alert for this. So uh, I did like them both enough that they're both keepers for me, at least in the relatively uh, long term. Let's start out with the Three Rivers Manufacturing Viator. Uh, Three Rivers Manufacturing has just kind of come out of nowhere. They they did a whole lot of, uh, I guess, OEM work for some, uh, some higher-end companies, all USA made, but now they're doing their own knives, and they are awesome. Uh, the Viator definitely, I think, is one that has put them on the map with a whole lot of people. This is, like I said, an ultra-modern slip joint, 100% USA made, CPM 154 steel, uh, just great design great blade great shape and it has a party trick which uh i think is it's not the only reason i like this knife by any means if i'd pick one reason why i like it the most it's that blade but one of my other favorite things about it is you can dress it up we'll get to that more when i get in the aesthetics but this is just one of the configurations that i have it's meant to be able to remove the scales and replace them super easily so you get tired the way of your the way your Viator looks. You spend very little money and you get new scales and you swap it out. It's almost kind of a semi-custom knife, not just because you can swap the scales, but just the way it's made and stuff. Yes, they are made like on a production line, but it's a very small one. And I don't really know how to qualify it. It's definitely not a mid-tech because they make everything, but I guess I would call it a semi-custom. Uh, very nice knife. Base price for these is about $139 if you get it with the less expensive G10 scales and a G10 backspacer. But even in this configuration with the carbon fiber scales and the titanium backspacer, almost as expensive as you can make one unless you opt for some of the bronzing options. Uh, this is like one, I want to say like a 181, 184, something like that. So uh, still not terribly expensive even if you go the full boat. But if you go with the base one, $139. Next up, $144 is the Kaiser Zip Slip. This is the only configuration that this particular Zip Slip comes in. Titanium scales, S35 VN steel, extremely well made, beautiful, beautiful knife. And uh, they are coming out with a Vanguard version that has G10 uh, scales and VG10 steel. But uh, that's that's uh, was out and then it wasn't. It's it's coming out and it'll it'll be available more places soon. It's not like you know out of production. They just I think their first run sold out quick and now they're coming out a few more places. I've seen pop up every now and then. I think that's about eighty bucks less expensive. But uh, I do like this one a whole lot. It is a beautiful knife. Nice deep carry pocket clip. Starburst titanium, and its unique kind of party trick is it has this flush back spring so it's a Mike Vagnino design this is one of his little tricks he does on his uh, customs you can see when you close it and open it that back spring does not pop up which works really well because this is a one hand open knife and a lot of times if you're one hand opening it your hand is actually where that that back spring would touch your hand if you moved it so that's cool I really do like that a great application of his very cool design like as you can see on the, the Viator has a unique back spring too, which we'll get to, but uh, it pops up. So if that was one hand open, you would kind of get on there. But anyway, let's do some stats on these before we get too much farther. We will start with the Viator. You have an overall length of seven inches. These are all one inch squares in this background. Blade length of three inches. You have a uh, blade thickness, very thin, 0 0.09 inches. You have a handle thickness of just under 0.4 inches, and the weight is only 2.7 ounces. Very, very light. This That's in the uh, G10 configuration. This one's a little bit lighter because it's carbon and titanium. But uh, yeah, 2.7 ounces. Very, very, very nice. Next up, we will do the zip slip. We have an overall length a little bit shorter, 6.83 inches, blade length of 2.8 uh, eight four inches but you can see with that choil you're getting a lot less cutting edge you have a blade thickness of 
0.12 inches, so a little bit thicker. Handle thickness, a little bit thinner than the Viator, 0.37 inches, and a weight of 3.15 ounces, so a little bit heavier with all that titanium. Let's bring these back out again, explain the rules. We'll do the same as we always do. We're gonna grade in three categories, aesthetics, quality, blade, ergonomics, carry, deployment, and value. Everybody's gonna get a point, and then we're gonna decide who wins. All right, let's get going first of all with the aesthetics. Uh, I think both these are very good looking knives. I will say I was not terribly excited about this Starburst pattern when I saw it in pictures, but once I got it in hand, I actually do really like it. Uh, I like the finish on the titanium. I think it looks good. I do not like the, the finish on the blade. They call it a stone wash, but it looks more like a bead blast to me. And it's, I guess it is kind of a light stone wash something. But anyway, I don't like it. I don't like the finish on the blade at all. Um, I would rather just a pure satin blade on something like this. This is a super classy knife, and I just don't like that dull finish on there a bit. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of the Starbursty Kaiser, or uh, whatever you want to call it, the spinny pinwheel Kaiser uh, pivot, but it does look okay on this knife. I'm not going to knock it for that. Uh, the pocket clip looks good. Just that finish kind of knocks it down for me. But why the Viator wins in this category, now we'll get to the party trick, is uh, not only does the blade look better, I like the finish on this blade. I, I'm not a super big fan of the font used there, but it looks small, so it doesn't bother me too much. I don't mind the logo at all. Some people have complained about that. I think it looks good. I think it's a pretty good logo. Uh, so that doesn't bother me. And I love the shape and just the overall design of it. But why it wins handily is you can customize it super easily. Here, I have two other sets of scales. This is actually not how I usually carry this knife with the carbon fiber uh, because I have it dressed up because the carbon looks pretty on camera, so that's why it's got the carbon on it right now. I usually use these micarta scales, which you can see I can just lay over here because you don't have to remove the pivot or anything to change the scales. It's super easy. It's three screws on this side, it's six on this side because you got to remove the pocket clip, obviously. But yeah, it's super easy to swap them. These are the burgundy micarta. They don't have these anymore. Uh, and then I also have some JG10, which I rarely use. But, and this is, this is what you get if you get the base one. They have a million different colors of G10. I'm not gonna get into all of them. I would link to the site. You can look down below for that. But you usually get a G10 scale with a G10 uh, backstrap. So I guess what they call it, backstrap back here. But uh, on the 100 and, uh, well, $139 version. But I, you, it's just so easy to switch them and customize it. And they're not expensive. These G10 scales are 15 bucks for another set of them. Are you kidding me? The, the micarta, when they have them, is, uh, I think, like $7 more than that. And then it's like another 7 or 8 bucks more than that to get the carbon. They're super cheap to get the, the replacement scales. If you're just tired of the way your knife looks, you spend at most like 30 bucks and you get a whole new set of scales to just completely change the look of your knife. That's freaking awesome. I just love that you can do that. They have some new designs coming out that are going to do the same thing. That's going to be a standard, I think, kind of Three Rivers manufacturing thing. Uh, we're going to start calling them TRM for the rest of this video because it's easier for me to say than Three Rivers Manufacturing. But uh, yeah, I love that about it. So aesthetically, this has got to win because you can customize it to whatever you want it to look like. Where with this, you just get the one configuration and that's just how it is. I think the G10 Vanguard version is going to come in a couple different colors, but still, that's not the one we're reviewing. All right, let's go to our next category, quality-wise. The Kaiser is very nice quality. It's a Kaiser. You know, it's a, it's the, the high-end Kaisers, the titanium S35 ones are just great, and this is great. No issues whatsoever. Blade centering's perfect. Everything's really, really good on it. I have no real complaints other than the, the pivot is still a very small uh, Torx, and the screws are pretty small Torx. Uh, and Kaiser screws aren't the best I've ever encountered. And this does have a free spinning pivot, so that, that's kind of annoying. But um, other than that, the quality is really good. But again, I think the TRM just goes a bit above that. This really does feel like a custom. If you guys have held like a really nice custom knife in your hand, this feels like a custom. Because it kind of sort of is, as I try to poorly explain. But uh, it's a, just a very good feeling knife. It just feels quality. It feels like you spent some money on this thing. 
And when you hand it to somebody, it feels like you spent some money on this thing. Maybe we're all getting too used to titanium S35 VN knives, you know, because they're the high-end Chinese ones, because there's so many of them. But this just feels like another one of those where this feels special. I don't know how else to describe it, but the Viter just feels special. And for that, I just have to give the quality to the TRM. Nothing wrong with the Kaiser, but I have to give the quality to the TRM. And it's a USA company, so if you're an American buyer buying it, it's going to be super easy to get it serviced. You know, you, you can just call somebody and talk to them. Kaiser's pretty hard to, you know, get a hold of somebody for for uh, warranty stuff, at least in my very limited experience. But, uh, yeah, uh, quality, I got to give a slight award to the TRM, just because it feels special. Now, in the blade... Uh, Again, this is S35VN, um, flat, uh, flat ground, but only about halfway up, and uh, I guess more of a saber grind, and 0 0.12 blade thickness. Uh, it's fine. It works fine, especially for the kind of stuff you'd want to do with a slip joint, but um, the blade on the Viator is just one of the best blades that I own. Uh, the blade shape, how ridiculous sharp it came out of the box, um, and it's nice and thin and slicey. This thing is one of the sliciest knives that I own. Slip joint or not, I don't care. I still use it a lot to cut like large amounts of cardboard and stuff like that because it just glides through it. I really do love the blade on this. The blade shape on this, everything about this blade, this is one of my favorite blades that I own, period. Even amongst my more expensive stuff. I just love the blade on the Viator. It's just a complete out of the park home run. Nothing wrong with the one on the, the zip slip, but this is just complete home run. So blade has to go to the vibe. Hello, I, admit, I forgot to add one thing. It's rare I do a little postscript on these, but I do want to add one thing I keep forgetting to mention because uh, I don't have this issue, but some people do, and it would not affect the decision on this uh, comparison at all. But I did want to add, uh, there have been some people who measure this blade as being a bit longer than three inches, some a bit shorter. Mine is almost dead on exactly three inches. But I do believe there is something about the way TRM sharpens their blade where the 3-inch blade may wind up being a 3.07 or a 3.04, something like that. If you live in a municipality that is very, very picky about that stuff and you're very worried about a cop measuring it as being more than 3 inches, that's something to keep in mind. As I said, mine is like 2.99 inches. I've heard some people get as low as 2.94. Some people get, as I said, 3.03, 3.07. So I think that's just a matter of how they sharpen the blade. Like as I said, these are pretty much uh, handmade knives or hand-finished knives anyway. So you're going to get that, but uh, it's not a problem for me. But if you live in a municipality that's very picky about three inches and you know your cops are jerks or you have a tendency to be a belligerent ass when you're talking to a cop, that's something to keep in mind. Where the zip slip is always, it's 2.94, it's always going to be 2.94 because it's a machine, you know, factory-made knife and it's always going to be the same. So... Just wanted to get that out there. Not a problem for me. Don't think it's going to be a problem for most people, but wanted to add that here on the end. Thanks a lot. Now, let's go to ergonomics. Um, ergonomics, uh, This there's nothing wrong with the Viator. It fits in my hand very well. Uh, there's a little bit of jimping up top here, which works well. Uh, this is absolutely 100% not a finger choil. Uh, this is a super sharp blade, and you will cut yourself if you try to use it as such. And um, it's fine, but... This is much better ergonomically. The zip slip is just much better. That nice forward choil, which is nice on a, on a slip joint because if it falls, it's, it's going to knock down on you. It's a bit grippier with this nice starburst. Um, you can kind of customize the grippiness based on the scales. Like these carbon fiber ones, I don't use much because they are very slippery. But I find the G10 to be a bit too grippy when I'm trying to take it out of my pocket. So you get, I use the happy medium mostly of the micarta which I said they don't have on the TRM site right now, but Blade HQ has an exclusive with a Micarta. So, because um, Blade HQ is the only other place you can order these online other than TRM and uh, directly, and they have a Micarta version. But And I'm sure that TRM will have Micarta scales available at some point again. Maybe not this color, but they'll have them. That's my happy medium. But if you like a really grippy, you get the G10. If you want something slick and pretty, you get the carbon fiber. But even that ergonomic advantage of being able to customize the grippiness. I still think this feels a little better in my hand. I, I like the forward choil and the things that I mostly use a slip joint for 
this is a rare exception because it's got such a stiff back spring, which we'll get to shortly. But the things I would usually use a slip joint for, I really like having the forward choil because there's no danger of it closing on my hand. It doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to get it down there, but uh, there's no, no uh, danger of it closing on my hand. So win for ergonomics goes to the zip slip. Now carry. Uh, carry, again, as I said, I find this to be very slick getting in out of the pocket in the carbon fiber, which is nice. I find the G10 to be too grippy trying to get it in and out of my pocket. Uh, definitely with a fair, it's got a fairly stiff pocket clip and the G10 is just too grippy. Sliding it in and out of your pocket with the G10 on is not super easy. And it doesn't have a deep carry pocket clip where the zip slip does uh, I have to give the win to the zip slip in this. I like the spring tension better on this clip and it's deep carry and it just slides right in out of the pocket. That perfect amount where you know it's not going anywhere, like the, the little ridges give you just enough grip that you know it's not going to go anywhere, but it's not hard to get in and out at all. So I have to give the win in the carry definitely to the zip slip. Now deployment. Um, these are two very different knives in deployment. So I'm going to pick a winner here, but I, I understand if you disagree with me. So. The Viator is a more somewhat traditional slip joint. It has a more traditional back spring. You can see it's split, uh, but it is very, very stiff. It's a very stiff back spring, which a lot of people do like that a lot. Um, I mostly like it, but sometimes I don't. As I said, it's always gonna be a two-hand open. It's definitely ne never intended to be a one-hand open, but I find it to be two-hand close also because uh, the spring is so stiff, it's so easy. I'll demonstrate here. I'm not with my fingers in the way. I learned that lesson the hard way. It's pretty easy to, when you're really trying to get it closed, and this is broken a bit, but to push past that, have, now it's not doing it, of course, but it is pretty easy when you're just one-handing it with your fingers in the way to push past that half stop. So, and, and there's not really many places to put, like that choil isn't very big. You have to choke up really far if you're going to one-hand close it. And you forget to do that sometimes. So I mostly just two-hand close it. I two-hand open it and two-hand close it. Or one-hand close it like this. Yeah, see right there, I just blew right past that half stop. It's not hard at all just to blow right past that half stop because the spring is so tight, which is great when you're using it. It's very secure for a slip joint and that is fantastic, but it's not great when you're trying to close it and not cut your fingers. So this one-hand open is super slick. It does have a weird kind of three-quarter stop instead of a half stop, but it's never an issue because it's a nice ergonomically designed knife. But I love the one-hand open slip joints. I just think it's cool. And you're never going to hit your finger because if you're holding it right, probably you're going to be using the choil. But even if you're not, there's not really much danger of getting cut because it has that three-quarter stop and you're going to catch the choil instead of catching the blade. So deployment, easy win for the zip slip on this because it's got that nice one hand open. I really, really do like it. Now, the back spring is not as tough as, as it is on the Viator at all. It is, I think a lot of hardcore slip joint guys would call it pretty weak. But again, if you're using it how they intend for you to carry it, it's not gonna be an issue because your finger's right there. So take with that what you will, but for me, definitely deployment is for the zip slip. Now, value-wise, uh, this one was a bit tougher. I, I don't, I think both of them are really good values. I don't think either, I think both of them are pretty appropriately priced. But again, it's just that specialness you get from the TRM that I feel like you're getting just that bit more value of just, it feels like a custom. It's super easy to customize to your own tastes. Uh, the materials are still really, really good. They're just as good as they are on the, on the Kaiser. Um, I'd have to say value-wise to the Viator, especially if you just want the G10 base version at $139. It's five bucks cheaper than the Zip Slip. So I have to give the win on value to the TRM. So where does that leave us at the end of 18 minutes? Uh, we have a four to three win for the Viator. And I think it, I think that's about right. I love the Zip Slip. I'm not going to get rid of it. It definitely has its purposes. But if I was going to have one of these ultra modern slip joints of the ones that I've had so far, I would choose the TRM. Just because, like I said, if I get bored with it, I can just change it, which is so cool. And that blade is amazing. 
And that's the reason why we buy knives, right? Is to cut stuff, theoretically. That's why we tell people that's why we buy them anyway. And for just cutting stuff, pretty hard to find a blade better than the one on the Viator. So that is my conclusion. Well done, TRM. They have some awesome new stuff coming up at Blade Show. I can't wait to get my hands on them. I unfortunately am not going there, but I'm really excited to get my hands on some new stuff. They've got a uh, frame lock that's pretty similar to this, and then they have a, basically a smaller Viator uh, with another name. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'm really excited about that, and um, I'll probably wind up getting them both. Really excited about this company, very excited about this knife, and about the zip slip. It's also very nice, but it just didn't win the day. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.